Prince William toasts Grandmother Queen as he reveals her very special message to Jordan. Prince William has toasted his grandmother, the Queen, who left her grandson with a message for the people of Jordan where she paid tribute to the Middle East country as a staunch and long-held friend. The Duke of Cambridge celebrated his grandmother's official royal birthday again at a garden party in Jordan where he told crowds the monarch looked back warmly on her 1984 visit to the Arab nation. The 37-year-old said, I greatly admire the resilience you and Jordan have shown in the face of the many security and humanitarian challenges that have confronted you as a result of conflicts in this region. The way in which you opened your doors to hundreds of thousands of refugees from Syria not to mention your long-standing commitments to Palestinian refugees, is remarkable. He told the guests at the residence of Britain's ambassador to Jordan, you should be enormously proud of what you have done. In so many ways, Jordan as an open and stable society is a beacon of hope for many other people in the Middle East. The father of three began his historic trip to the Middle East by bonding with the Crown Prince of Jordan as they watched England's World Cup match against Panama. Crown Prince Hussein recorded the game for the pair to view later as Prince William arrived in Jordan just as the second half between manager Gareth Southgate's team in Panama began. The Duke, who is president of the FA and a keen Aston Villa fan, spent the remainder of the day avoiding the scoreline and swore the travelling media not to tell him. It was reminiscent of the famous episode from the 70s sitcom Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads, where the characters Bob and Terry try to stay clear of any reference to an England vs Bulgaria game before they can watch the evening highlights. After he revealed he would be watching the England vs Panama match at the end of the day the Duke told the media traveling with him, on pain of death, please don't tell me the score. William's five-day visit to the Middle East is hugely symbolic and will also see him visit Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories, the first time a member of the monarchy has visited on behalf of the government. Earlier, the football theme had continued when William was presented with a wooden shield decorated with the crest of his beloved Aston Villa during a visit to the Fab Lab, a technology lab in the Jordanian capital of Amman. The Duke even pressed a button to start a laser cutter which produced the design but before it sprang into action he spotted the villa crest on the machine and said, that's familiar. Very good. You have done your research. The center was established by the Crown Prince's foundation, and Hussein showcased the work his organization is doing to equip young people with technology. William later had dinner with his host the Crown Prince at his home, where the Duke also stayed, and the pair watched England thrash Panama 6-1.